Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today I'm back here at Paulson's Park to come and have a little look at the construction site on their new area for 2020. It's Tornado Springs, and it's great to be back here on the construction site, where I'm joined by the Assistant Marketing Director, it's Lawrence Mansey. Good to see you. Good to see you, Sean. And uh, it's great to be back here on the site. Um, so it's been about a month and a half since I was last here and filmed an update for you guys. And as you can already see behind me, uh, a lot of work has took place. So what sort of work has took place over the last sort of six weeks since I was last here? I mean, a lot of progress seems like it's been made. Yeah, so there's been a lot of work on the, the station here. So we've done a lot of painting on the, on the station building. Um, this building here, the F&B building, is, is has had flooding put on it. As you can see, some, some tracks start to arrive for the new roller coaster. Exciting, so, yes. Yeah, finished off all the foundations and yeah, looking forward to seeing it start being put up in the next sort of couple of weeks. Great to see. So in terms of the coaster itself, how long were you expecting for the uh, supports and track to, to go up? I mean, normally these things don't take that long. No, it'll be about probably six weeks of uh, actual crane uh, fit out uh, yeah. and putting it all together and then it'll be another six weeks of electrical fit out and then yeah, the, the, uh, the trains arrive in January and then it'll be another couple of months of testing before anyone can get on it. Very exciting, isn't it? So would you say everything's going as planned at the moment? I mean, you seem to start really early with the construction, which is always good, yep. meaning that you've got time in case of any problems that you run into, but it seems like things are running on schedule from what I can see. Is that the case, would you say? Yep, yeah, all on schedule. Uh, a few uh, puts and takes here and there, but as always with any project, we, we plan a long way in ahead, so that does make the difference when you, when you come to racing ground. Very exciting, but um, yeah, of course we're here on the construction site, thanks to the park. Uh, so let's go for a little look round and see what's changed since I was last here. Thanks Lawrence, it's always great to have a chat. No problem. Let's start off by taking a look at the progress that's been made on the building that will be home to the Route 83 Diner and also the gift shop that will be at the end of Al's Auto Academy. As we can see, the building has started to be closed in and wooden structures have started to be attached to the front of the facade. As we head inside, you really get an idea on how big this space will actually be. This area will be the Route 83 Diner, with the main door being located on the left and the door on the right that will lead out to an outdoor seating area. You can also see here on the left hand side what will be the shop at the exit to Owl's Auto Academy. There'll be an entrance and exit for the front of the shop and also at the exit from the ride that will lead straight into the gift shop as well. It's clear that this part of the project is still in a very early stage. However, a lot of work has took place since my previous visit, and I look forward to seeing this area develop over the next few months. As soon as the floor starts to go in, the building gets split off into two, and all the theming and other details start to come in at a later stage, I really can't wait to see this space and how it looks. It's so much bigger than what I was expecting, and I really feel like it's got so much potential to be one of the most heavy themed buildings in a UK theme park park. The show building for the park's 4D cinema actually backs onto Tornado Springs, so to make this fit in with the area, the park have painted the building brown and also attached these various different billboards onto the side of it. Let's move on then to an update from Al's Auto Academy, the driving school that will be a part of Tornado Springs. The area here will actually be home to an aerial walkway with a large tree in the middle. The foundations that you can see there will actually hold up this aerial walkway with steps leading down into the gift shop that will be located through the gap in the building just there. Over the past few weeks and since I last visited the site, a new steel structure has started to be installed on the site. This will actually be the entrance and queue line area for Al's Auto Academy. And here's an overview of the area where the driving school will be and also looking over towards Al's Garage, the gift shop and also the Route 83 Diner that will be in the left of the building. As mentioned by Lawrence near the start of the video, supports and track for the new roller coaster, Storm Chaser, are already arriving on site with new deliveries being made every few days. The steel work that's arrived so far is for the station, brake run and lift hill for Storm Chaser. This piece in particular is actually the section that will be at the top of the lift hill and will be located next to the track. These steps are used for evacuation purposes and also for maintenance of the roller coaster. Along with the steps and also various platforms that will be located on the lift hill and brake run, some of the flat track for these sections of the ride have also started to arrive on site. These flat track sections will be used throughout the station and also the brake run. 
From the top of the lift hill and through till the brakes, Storm Chaser will use Tri-Track. However, there's none of that yet on the site. But with work to erect the coaster beginning shortly, it's clear that some will be arriving soon. There's various different supports for Storm Chaser throughout the construction site, and as we can see here, work on the foundations has really progressed since my previous visit. It's clear now that the area is ready to go in terms of building the roller coaster, and RCS will be coming in shortly to start construction on this new ride. As mentioned previously, Storm Chaser will be a Mack Ride spinning coaster. This area of the site will be the home of the majority of the track for Storm Chaser and will be closed off for guests to access. Along with this, the area will feature a themed fence around the outside, along with various different theming items located underneath the coaster itself. As we can see, the various different foundations here are ready for the supports to be attached. And here's a bit of an overlook, looking towards the queue area, Buffalo Falls, and also the station building, which is what we're going to talk about next. As you can see, work on the station building has progressed massively since my previous visit, and you can already start to get a feel for how this area will be once it's complete. This area you can see here will be where the track makes its way back in from the brake run into the station building. Work on the queue line has also progressed massively for Storm Chaser, and as you can see, this mostly covered queue line is located underneath Buffalo Falls. This is a great use of space, as this area was previously unoccupied. As you can see, there's still a lot more details to go into the queue area, but it's all covered over, the sides are now on, and there'll be a lot more set dressing and details to go in before the area is complete. No further work has took place on Buffalo Falls, but that's because the park decided to open the attraction for the summer months. It's set to close again shortly, so work can continue. A very exciting part of Tornado Springs will be the reopening of the park's railway that's been closed throughout the 2019 season, so work can take place on the area. The railway will be rerouted through Tornado Springs and will offer some fantastic views. The track itself will run along the ridge at the top just there, so you'll get some fantastic views looking over Storm Chaser, something that I really can't wait to experience. Tornado Springs will feature two family drop towers. As we can see here, foundations for the windmill towers are currently making good progress. Here's a look inside the operator's cabin for the windmill towers. As we can see, it's even detailed on the inside, and I look forward to seeing the overall finish when the two towers are installed. Here's an overview looking towards the rest of Route 83. This will be the site of the Cyclonator, which is the new gyro swing. However, as mentioned in the previous episode, construction will begin on this later in the year. Finally, let's take a look at the construction taking place on one of the two different play areas that will be located inside Tornado Springs. As we can see, various different pieces of play equipment have already been installed in the play area. Both of the swings have got some really nice details on there, with one of them saying Paltons in a number plate and another one with Route 83. The good thing about the play area is that it caters for all, with some of the play equipment also being wheelchair accessible. This is fantastic to see and it opens up the area to many more people. I can't wait to follow the progress and see how this looks when it's complete. So it really is great to see so much work has took place in the past six weeks since I was last here down at Tornado Springs. And it's really exciting to be next to the track and the supports just here. Another delivery is actually just coming in at the moment as well. And that's been a constant thing here at Paltons Park. Deliveries being made uh, from Mack Rides uh, with the supports and track, uh, ready for it all to be erected here on site uh, by RCS, which is a company that I'm quite familiar with. I'm sure a lot of you are. Uh, they've built some great rides out there, including Icon at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And, uh, Let's just say they don't mess about when it comes to getting these rides up. Uh, so I look forward to coming down here next time when we're going to start to see some of this going up here on the site. It's going to be really exciting to follow. And of course, make sure you follow all the official uh, social media channels here for Paltons Park, especially on Twitter, uh, where you've got all the different residents of Tornado Springs uh, that are revealing more information uh, as and when on there. It certainly is very exciting, uh, so make sure you give them a follow. And of course, stick with us here at Theme Park Worldwide for even more updates from a very busy construction site. As you can hear, there's vehicles everywhere, loads of work going on, uh, but it really is good to see. And things are going to get even more exciting when the track and supports that you see just behind me are going to start to be erected here in Tornado Springs. Uh, well, there we go. Thank you very much for joining us for another update here on Theme Park Worldwide. We'll be back again a little bit sooner uh, in September this time to come and do an update when uh, even more of this is going to be going up. Very exciting. I'm Sean Sandbrook, and that means it's time to keep those credits. See you in the next update.